Hello, this is Paul with Logix Magazine, and today we're going to talk about an entry-level PLC programmer's job. Perception versus reality. All right, so let's get started. So, what's your perception? <laughs> I mean, let's think about this. I, I recommend that you write down what you think your first few weeks as a new PLC programmer would be like. That's a very good little exercise, okay, between what you think the real world's going to be like and what the real world's going to be like. Now, there might actually be a lot of overlap. <clears throat> Some of what you think the real wo world is like might actually be that way. But what I want to do is prepare you for the reality, the bite of reality, that what you think it's going to be like isn't necessarily going to be that way. Now, what I want to do is I want to share with you how to overcome some of those those um, perceptions, right? And how to adjust to reality, all right? And how to be successful. So that's what I want to share with you today. There's, there's the perception, right? The perception is you're going to... They're going to issue you a laptop. You may get business cards. You may get a company phone. <clears throat> may get a desk and or an office from which to work from. You're going to be given some great projects, right? Multi-million dollar projects. You're going to be the lead control engineer. Or you're going to be one of the top control engineers, right? Or the only control engineer. The perception is <clears throat> that you may have some travel. You may get to do some traveling. Um, get that passport, right? The perception is you're going to make tons of money. And <laughs> at some point when you have enough experience, you really will. You're going to work with the most cutting edge of technology. This is all the perception, right? Let's talk about the reality. Perception versus reality. The reality is, is based off of four specific Four specific things, right? And, and, and the reality of these four points are also what you need to adjust between your perception and the reality. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's talk about what reality is about, right? A lot of it has to do with what projects do they have in-house that they're working on. Very important, right? Maybe they don't have a lot of high-tech cutting-edge projects. They have a lot of regular routine. Maybe they have 75 jobs that they've got to do. It's just basic routine programming. Easy. And, you know, first-year PLC programmer will be able to do all by themselves. Okay? You don't even need a senior engineer. The programming is so easy. The process. You're going to come in having learned to write a program a specific way. And they may have in-house procedures that are totally different from the way you learn to write. <clears throat> now you say, well, that's all well and fine. I just learned how to do it they way, their way. That's wow. That's, that's fantastic. We're going to talk about that. But they are going to have a process. And nobody learns a process overnight. Okay? Keep that in mind. People, believe it or not, they you may be an extra hand. You may be somebody extra. And you may just get... Uh, floated around to kind of help fill the gaps when a guy's absent. And you may not have a specific uh, level of pro uh, percentage of the project that you're going to work on. That's not always true, but it, it being a, an entry-level PLC programmer, it's likely true, okay? So you're going to fill in. You're going to fill in with the electrician. You're going to fill in with uh, programming. You're going to fill in with the mechanics assembling the machine, okay? It's reality. And the fourth point is, what are the problems they're having? Where are they stuck? What are they behind on? Maybe they're behind on schedule. Maybe they're, maybe they're short of parts. Maybe they're short of people. Okay. Maybe there's, there's a variety of things that could be very problematic for the company that's hired you. All right. So let's talk about these. All right. So <clears throat> projects. Not every project is exciting. I, I, I know that's hard for you to believe. But a lot of projects are just plain out boring, mundane, routine projects. And that's all well and fine every once in a while. 
But sometimes it could be months of the same boring routine of entering the program, setting IPs, and configuring the machines because you just got a large variety, a large amount of the same type of basic machine. So don't expect to go in and be all excited because of the type of program I'm working with and all the te technology. And it, Likely, you're not going to have that. Now, you may have that from the beginning. You may have an overwhelming amount of projects with a huge amount of variety in them with a high level of technology. That's the other reality of it. I myself liked when I got into a shop and there was an opportunity when I was new, there was an opportunity to have some routine because routine builds, it gives you repetition. Repetition ingrains skill set and knowledge. Variety, especially high tech variety, really challenges you. It really, ch that's weekend work. That's long hours. That's really challenging. That's where you, you could make your mistakes and learn the most in time. Okay. So it could be, it could be either one. That's the reality of it. The reality of it could be, you could be stuck with electricians and helping them out doing very little programming for two years, for example. Those are the realities of being a new PLC programmer. To being, you know, getting an entry level PLC programming job. <clears throat> process. And no matter what you think, well, I'll just I'll just learn their process. Every single thing you know, some shops have a process that they work through. They they organize and format their programming in a very specific way. And you have to learn that. And that's going to actually put you behind the curve. Even though you know how to program some stuff, it won't matter. Because you have to program it the way that they program it. It's not that it's hard. It's just that it's a whole new set. It's, like, it's almost like learning how to program all over again sometimes. Because you have to organize your material totally different. All right? And you have to learn that process. And it's going to take time. It's really going to put you behind. You're not going to be um, up to speed with um, other programmers there because you haven't learned the process. All right. Be be ready to be humbled by that that very fact alone. Okay. You have to learn how they program, how they organize their 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 program. Simple as that. <clears throat> People. Now, you also are going to, you may find that you're going to have all kinds of issues. I have run to run to a lot of them. I've had uh, electricians who thought they should have been hired as a PLC programmer, who did everything in the world they could to not help me, to make my life difficult. I've had other PLC programmers refuse to show me anything to include the new, the, the way they pro, they. Uh, program their PLCs, their process, refuse to teach me anything and show me how they did it. I've had managers who treated me as nothing more than just, you know, cheap labor. So you will, you, you may very well run into a large variety of different situations to deal with people. When you come on board, you don't know what you're walking into. And that's going to be a real challenge for you. Hopefully, you've got a great manager who, who understands where you're at and is willing to invest in you. Who's willing to give you the support and resources you need to be successful. Okay, period. That's a must have. And hopefully, you'll have team players, team members, who want you to be successful. Because in theory, the better you are, the, the less they have to do. Okay, to help you. And you become a valuable member of the team. All right. Finally, again, problems. <laughs> well, <laughs> this one, um, this is really critical for entry-level PLC programmers. In that a lot of you are going to say, hey, so long as I just get a PLC programmer's job, I don't care what, what I have to do as long as I get the job. The problem with that is... You are open a big can of worms. <laughs> so the problems that a company has, it could be that 
they've overcommitted themselves and now they're they're drawing really tight to a timeline that's why they decided to bring in new poc programmers and they're going to struggle with their process and some of their people and some of the projects right so they're behind the gun and and they're depending on you a lot and there you are and you're new you have a lot of challenges um, some of the problems they might have is um, they may have a internal issue with their PLC programmers team, right? Uh, broken promises, a lack of pay increase, etc. Lots of different issues. Um, you could you could jump into a great uh, team who don't have those problems, don't have those processes with a um, with a nice couple of projects that you're going to be able to get into. Um, there's a lot of good opportunities out there. But the reality is you need to be prepared for things not going the way you expect. Your perception could uh, could be wrong. All right. And so why, why I bring this up is these are some of the challenges I have personally faced. Not all of them, but a handful of them. And they have really put me through the ringer. Now, looking back on it, I probably could have found out some of this stuff during my interview, right? I probably could have found out uh, some of the challenges that they've had. And in retrospect, knowing some of this, you got to be willing to say, you know, and I'm not sure this is a good fit. I, I tell you all this not to scare you. But to prepare you that your perception versus reality may not be what you think it is. Okay? And it's okay. Remember, it's a journey. All of this, every bit of it, the good and the bad, you have to learn to callous yourself to uh, the challenges in this industry. All right? To be prepared to weather any and all storms. But be prepared. You know, kind of prepare yourself. Don't don't throw yourself into a bad situation figuring you're going to be able to swim with sharks. You're an entry-level PLC programmer. You are a minnow at best, okay? When you throw yourself into all of these different challenges, you're going to be swimming with sharks. And I want you to be prepared for, for what you're going to be facing. Um, if, you, if you look at each one of these, obviously... Um, Projects, you have no control over the projects. It is good to know during your interview to ask what kind of projects to work on. Get as as detailed as you can during that, that interview process to learn what are they what are their what are the projects they're working on? What are the problems that, that the company and or the department is facing? Okay, very important. Know what you're walking into. Um try to understand the people, how long they've been there, right? Are they there's nothing wrong with saying, you know, what type of, of teamwork uh, does the, the programmers have? Is this a good, good team teamwork or they've been together a long time? They knew they've been thrust together. Anything that they can share with you is worth asking. And once you accept the job and you come on board, the best thing you can do is be as supportive to the team as possible. To carry more than your weight because you're new. You've got something to prove. Believe it or not, no matter what anybody else tells you. You've got something to prove to this team. You gotta get in there, work hard, learn, be be willing to ask questions, but not to a point of annoyance. Right? And study and learn on your own. Try to catch up. Try to learn the pro their process as quick as possible. Don't go in there trying to change anything. Try to learn and understand what they're doing and how they're doing it. Understand the problems that they're facing and the challenges and projects that they're working on. All right. So that you can learn to become a great team member first. Learn, be supportive, and then in time, as you see opportunities to improve, you'll have gained that credibility to share your opinion. And your opinion will matter to that team. All right. So that's what I would say. Those are important points, I think, for any entry level PLC programmer. Um, and you know, the difference is for any entry-level PLC programmer's job, perception versus reality.
All right. So this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Um, hey, until next time, uh, if you are new here and you want to grow your automation career, subscribe, hit the bell. So you'll be notified every video we put out. If you have a question, put it down below. I love answering questions. And uh, if you have any, any suggestions, I'm all ears. All right. So until next time, keep programming. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.